Cote Cube. Ta-da! We're back, Cote's Cube, after another hiatus. I know, we're lazy sons of bitches around here. But anyway, here we are, back in the cube, ready to tell you about some cool stuff. This being the best news ever. This is the new Trans World Surf interview issue. That is Nick Lamb in a huge barrel, shot by Dave Nelson. Yay! So grab that at your local independent surf shop or bookstore. Now let's get into the news. Big news, Kelly Slater just shitting on everybody at Tavarua and, you know, pretty much putting on a clinic. And, you know, right there with three wins, I mean, barring any some, like, act of God, Kelly Slater's going to probably be world champ this year. He hasn't lost to anyone, you know, on the CT, so... Kelly, you're ripping, what can we say? Um, Parco is in second place, but you know, it's by like a thousand points. So, good luck everybody else. Second place is not that bad. So, uh, speaking of the contest world, let's talk about the QS. Americans are looking really good right now. Our boy, Pat Kodowskis, sitting in the number one position. Austin Ware in second. Brett Simpson's in fifth. TJ Barron's in seventh. You know, again, it's only about halfway over, and uh, the boys are on their way to the Maldives for a six-star. So, after that contest, we should have a clear look at what the end of the year is going to be like. Um, so, if you're in Southern California this weekend, it's, uh, you know, June 7th and 8th. It's going to be a big weekend for events. There's a lot to do. Switchfoot Bro-Am is going to be at Moonlight Beach. The uh, Fiesta del Sol is at Fletcher Cove in Solana Beach. Um, there's a Tijuana River Valley cleanup, which that's a very important area over there. And uh, the DVS Beach cleanup is at Hermosa Beach. You can get all your information on what to do this weekend at TransWoodSurf.com. And uh, let's try something. This is the first time ever. That's right. Live letters on TransWoodSurf.com. All right, so as you probably all know, I was uh, Coach Cote for the last couple years on Tavaroa. So we got a couple complaints here. Sorry, Moro. Uh, where the hell is Coach Cote? These guys at Tavi are the biggest puds ever. I was looking forward to the Tavamotu challenge this year, but instead Cote had to stay home and play with himself at Stone Steps. Damn you, Cote. I think they sent the wrong Chris to Fiji. I bet that Bodo Bozo doesn't have half the bar tab you had the other year. Well, you know, I like Chris Morrow. He's good. Um, you know, and, you know, I just I didn't get to go this year. Maybe I'll go next year. Coach Cote, I still have my jersey, so I'll be back, and my bar tab will be big. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it was an awesome contest, so congratulations, Globe. Went off. Uh, we got another letter, and this is about... Um, this is about being disappointed, you know, from uh, Marcelo. And this is about the Tahiti contest. It says, I watched the live webcast in two languages, Portuguese and English. I was very happy seeing Bruno Santos winning the contest and even happier on seeing the whole media kind of disappointed on this incredible result. I hope you change your minds on every bad intention comment you have been doing about the Brazilians. Me? I didn't... What did I... Or don't agree that Bruno, 15 stitches in the leg, a borrowed board, was the best surfer in Chopo. Marcelo, he was the best surfer in Chopo. He won, gnarly, 15 stitches, and, you know, I gotta hand it to you. The Brazilian fans are the most rabid on tour, so you guys got your win. Congratulations. We're stoked for you. Uh, you are our brachas, Brasil. We love you very much. So, uh, that's about it for us. We're gonna read more letters uh, next week. Thank you for watching. Code Case Cube. Now, Go back to the transworldsurf.com. Check it out. We love you. Bye-bye.